If you want to grow fruit from seed, then give Cape gooseberries a try. These delicious little berries are so easy to grow and you can expect a bountiful harvest of fruit in as little as 180 days after sowing. In this video we are going to guide you step by step, showing you how we sow our seed, transplant and fertilize our seedlings, and ultimately harvest our berries. As always, to keep this information on hand you can download our ebook. The link is in the description below. Starting the seed. Cape gooseberry seed is easily found at many garden centers or online stores. The seed are on the smaller side, but they aren't so small to make sowing difficult and it is easier to get a single seed into a cell. We use plastic trays with small cells like this, as these cells are on the smaller side we needed to transplant our seedlings to bigger trays later. You can avoid this extra step by sowing your seed in bigger trays at this stage. Our trays were filled with a fine quar mix. Young seedlings are very susceptible to soil-borne pathogens. To help protect your future seedlings, pour boiling water over your filled trays. This will also help fill your trays evenly and eliminate any air pockets. After sterilizing your soil, pat down the mix. Another advantage of pre-sterilizing your medium is that it makes watering your seed much easier as you eliminate the need for thorough post-sowing watering. As these seed are on the smaller side, we didn't plant them too deep and instead just placed them on top of the medium and patted them down. We then covered them with a light layer of coir and gently watered the seed. Depending on your climate, Cape gooseberries can be grown as perennials in frost-free regions. This allowed us to start our seed towards the end of summer, allowing them to grow and mature through the winter so we could harvest our fruit in the spring. If you do have frost, however, rather start your seed towards the end of winter so you can get a late summer harvest. Seed germination, transplanting and fertilizing. This seed took a while to germinate, approximately three to four weeks or so. This is what they looked like after another few weeks, at which time we transplanted them into larger trays. These trays were filled with a fine commercial seedling mix. We used the plant tag to prop the seedling out of the smaller tray and place them into the larger one. We then watered the seedlings in. At this time, a dilute, all-purpose fertilizer can be applied once a week to encourage vegetative growth.
planting in raised beds. About three to four months after sowing, the seedlings were planted into some wooden boxes. The mix has a sandier consistency with some hydroponic substrate mixed in to promote drainage. If you're looking for a place to grow your seedlings, make sure it receives full sun and is capable of draining well. You can continue to fertilize your seedlings, but it may not be necessary as Cape gooseberries are more than capable of thriving in even poor soils. Flowering, fruit development and harvest. Flowers begin to grow as the plants matured. Generally, flowers will form in every axle of the stems. At this stage, potassium-rich fertilizers could be used while nitrogen-rich fertilizers must be avoided. But as we mentioned, fertilization is often not required for Cape gooseberries. The flowers didn't need to be hand-pollinated. Fruit developed in almost every flower that grew. The fruit is encased inside these papery coverings, which is why these fruit are known as Cape gooseberries. You can tell your berries are ready for harvest when the covering turns brown and the fruit detaches easily with a gentle tug. To enjoy your fruit, remove the cape and dig into your homegrown berries and enjoy. And that's how easy it is to grow Cape gooseberries from seed. Let us know if you have tried these yourself and if you picked up any useful tips and tricks. Remember your ebook before you go and we will see you in the next video.